Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. Tonight's little project is two nest boxes for my parrot cages. Uh, this is the little drawing that I came up with, uh, just a little quick pencil sketch of it. Uh, and I had the material pre cut. The only problem is the um, supplier can't cut out corners like that. Uh, so I'm going to have to do that on the band. So it's not a really a problem. But that's the only thing that they couldn't do. The rest they all cut. Uh, on the straight lines, they, oh, uh, they also can't cut diagonally, so if you've got anything skew, they won't cut that. Uh, I worked it out so that I can get two of them out of a 1220 by 2440 uh, shutter ply board. And uh, I hope it works out. Well, it looks like it works out. So there you can see the, uh, the one that I just have to cut out there, and there, and there, and there. So there's four of them that needs to be cut uh, on the bandsaw. So let's get cracking and start Gunning on it, I'll meet you at the bandsaw. Right, so I'm using my little Craftmaster bandsaw. I think this was definitely older than I am. Nonetheless, still works reasonably well. Um, I had to tune it up a bit, but it's, it's, it's more than what I need at this stage. I can't uh, justify buying a bigger bandsaw at this stage. Uh, just cutting out these uh, four little corners. Um, nothing major, nothing fancy. Just keeping on the right side of the line and making sure that we cut as straight as possible. Right, next step, we are marking out the screw holes. So what I did was I just set my uh, combination square to half the thickness of the shutter ply and started drawing them out so uh, we know where, which lines to follow. Uh, I've done a little short on keeping your edges away, uh, the, the screw edges away from the edge longer than the screw is long. So just to make sure that you don't drive one screw into another uh, and then also just uh, dividing the ends in half and making sure that we've got everything covered that once we done we've got a good seal in terms of screws uh, get the boards nice and straight together uh, this is a bit of a monotonous um, part of the job but nonetheless uh, if you ash it up here you're gonna have a major major issue later on so uh, try and concentrate making sure that everything works as it should uh, once again, I sort of go into a production line type of scenario just to make sure that you don't miss something. You know, the moment you get used to doing something a certain way, the chances of missing something along the line is just so uh, so much less. Now just uh, punching the holes, making quick um, punch marks to make sure that we can drill them in the, in the right space. And uh, another thing, uh, mark your boards uh, as you go along numbers and tops and inside and outside so what i would normally do is i write on the board this is uh, part number one it's a top and it's an outside face uh, then you know when once you start putting it together you know where everything would fit in and should fit in the reason just be well part of the reason for that is a lot of these boards are almost the same size but not entirely um, so you've got maybe part a at, at one dimension and pot B uh, at another dimension that's maybe just four or five millimeters longer or shorter and uh, so make sure you mark everything uh, properly just got a little uh, countersink bit here in the drill press using it to drill all the screw holes pre-drill all the screw holes uh, it goes a lot faster in the uh, in the drill press I can't remember how many screws were in there I should actually go and um, Count them. 72 screws per nest box, so it was 144 holes drilled and screws inserted throughout the uh, whole project. So uh, honestly, if you can make it a bit quicker for yourself, it's just so much better. Once again, guys, this is one of those projects where you're doing two of each, so everything just takes twice as long. Uh, it becomes a bit, of, a bit monotonous, but I still enjoy the project. Uh, it came out fairly well i think uh, i'm fairly happy with how how this worked out and uh, it wasn't time wasted and definitely no time wasted on this project oh yeah i didn't think there was this much drilling to be done i didn't feel that <laughs> well i've sped this up 12 and a half times and it still feels longer than when i was actually doing it 
So I think we're ready to start off with this. The um, screws that I'm using is, uh, what's it, three and a half by 30 millimeters, uh, which screws, it's just, uh, the, the shutter supply is 18 millimeters thick, so you almost through two of them once you start gunning it. Uh, so you know you're not gonna go right through, even with a little bit of a, of a countersink. Apologies for the almost out of screen um, work here. I started off, my cold glue was almost done there. I had to run and get a new bottle out of the cupboard and started gunning it. Uh, I think yeah, it's looking a bit better. Once again, uh, visualize in your head how you're going to put this thing together. Um, I made a bit of a hash on the one end. It, it came out fairly okay. But uh, see how you're going to put your plan together so that you don't work yourself into a corner. Uh, you'll see as I go along, I've basically always got an open face to work against. And uh, that, that work it just makes it easy, especially getting the tools in there and uh, making sure everything fits together squarely. Here, I actually almost stashed it up. Um, getting that part in, well, I actually, you see there, there I wrapped it, uh, took the glue off and did the um, second part as a, as a second section to fit up, you'll see as, a, as we go along now. Uh, yeah, I put in another corner, this is still on the one end. Now I've got three, three edges open still, and uh, this is just the second one, the second nest box doing the same one that, uh, once again, sort of a production line, do one thing, change it uh, to the other next bo nest box, do the same thing on the other nest box, and move back, move back, move back and forth between the two, making sure that you uh, do not slip up somewhere along the way. Here you can see I've actually started a new sub assembly if I can call it that uh, a second second sub assembly just checking in that I get everything in there and uh, as I look through it that'll that would have been the easiest way to put it to get you do the final fit and put it together fi on, on the on the final item I actually should have put one extra board on this sub assembly uh, but I uh, luckily I could make it work Just wiping off glue as we go along. You can see I've still got the three ends open. So I'm just installing a, a little piece of 25 by 25 welded mesh. Uh, that's just for the parrots to be able to climb out against once they're down into the next nest box and want to uh, get out. They can uh, climb out on, on this little piece of um, welded mesh. Just screwing them down with big washers making sure that they seat uh, and stay where they are. Second box, same story. Repetitive, repetitive, repetitive. Then I'm putting in the uh, second, well, the second sub assembly, and this opening on top here where my hand was just now, that was actually the one that, that almost caught me out. Um, there I realized what I had to do. Luckily I could bend them out of the way and still get the cold glue in and it fit perfectly. So I thought of this, initially I thought the second one I was going to do different, but when it fit together fairly well, I uh, somewhat did the uh, second one on the same. There I'm just putting the top end on, well the front end on, let's call it the front end. And now on the, onto the second nest box. Once again, should have done the extra board there but uh, it all worked out fine. Screwing everything together as we go along. Making sure that you line up the boards as, as best you can. Even the shut, even the plywood still pulls to, this, to, to, an, to a certain degree. So just make sure that you can stretch it into place and make sure that everything's square and fits as it should. Once again, the front end Screwing that down proper. And there we go. Now I'm just marking out the entrance hole to the nest box. Uh, it's actually standing on its side. Uh, going to put in a four inch, um, use a four inch hole saw to put in the entrance hole. Just marking it out and making sure that we can, there's enough space for everything working there. Uh, once again, using the bimetal hole saws on the wood, they work wonderfully. Just uh, hold on to your drill machine, uh, to your hand drill. Mm -hmm. 
this little piece of board that I'm putting in there is actually a sort of afterthought. I just raised the one, end, well, this end of the um, nest box floor a little bit so that the eggs don't roll around as much so that the little end can keep them in the place where they need to be. Uh, sorry again for being out of, out of screen there. Should really concentrate and get that sorted out in my videos. Filling the entrance hole again. And there we go. Now I am marking out the I marked out the ac uh, access to the nest box. Uh, I couldn't use the insert from the well the plug from the also because it was the the, the saw curve leaves a, too much of a gap, so I had to cut new pieces to fit in there. That's just to get access to the back of the uh, nest box. Once again, using my little bandsaw, uh, cutting them close to the line. Got a fairly Thick blade in there so I can't get around the corners as good as I wanted to. Should have changed out the blade but uh, laziness, laziness, nothing else. Right, once we're done with that I've on onto the old uh, the little belt sander. Uh, th this machine was worth its one weight in gold. Honestly I, I could, uh, if I had to buy it again I'll buy it again any day of the week. I can't remember the size of the uh, belt, I have to check but it's really a small machine. So I'm just uh, sanding down up onto the line every so often, checking that it fits. And making sure that we've got a tight seal. As you can see there, that's the seal on there. Uh, nice fit, fit, fits well together. And just a, another piece of board that I'm going to put on top of that to, uh, to keep the little plug in place. Now the plug just needs to be finished as smooth as possible on the inside. I don't want the... Uh, I don't want the birds to be chewing on it un unnecessarily, so I think if we can keep it as flat as possible, they might stay away from it. Look, I think eventually they, they will eat it up and it's going to have to be replaced. It's, nest boxes are sort of consumable. Some parrots, they do not do anything to it and some chow the hell out of it. Just sanding off, uh, little, make it a little bit smoother. Now the second one, same story. Just measuring out, so got it. The plug in the center of the board and marking it out, making sure that the directions are still the same. Little countersunk screws, uh, two of them in there. I think this is actually the last two countersinks that I've drilled. Marking out, no, no we've still got the outside ones. This is the last four. And there everything fits together again. Now we just need to fit the back end of it. Uh, as you'll see, I did not use uh, glue on on this side. Uh, that's basically just, if I need to get back in there one day, maybe just patchwork or something to do in there, I can still get in there. So I didn't, I didn't glue on the back end, uh, just, just using the screws to get them together. And this is the last screw getting driven in. Came out fairly good. And gentlemen, there we have it. Our two next nest boxes are done. Uh, one copy of the other. Uh, thanks for watching if you made it thus far. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe. And as always, stay safe.